Hello, Jason. I'm wearing sweaters today because I'm trying to get rid of the last amount of body Jason water. is not on his period. He's not retaining water. No, He's I'm not bloated. Well, I'm trying to get rid of the last 10, 15 pounds of body water. The hard part... One, two, three, four, four five. The hard part is, is getting rid of the last 10, 15 pounds because it manipulates. When you drink water, you store it back. So I'm trying to get Are rid you, of it. Uh, Sitting in the sauna, just doing cardio. Are you for a show? Yeah. Is that, and you're dropping the body weight? I'm dropping 10, 15 pounds of body water. I'm holding all water now. So water, I'm trying to tighten up my skin. I'm using the day before contest. I'm going to use... When is the show going to be? Sunday. But I got to go to entry is Saturday. I just got to go pay. But the thing is to tighten up my skin to last because I lost so much weight. You know, when you lose a lot of weight, you get loose skin. Right. The secret is the day before contest, you rub Preparation H all over yourself. Okay. Tighten Let me ask skin. you this. Preparation H? It's true. For hemorrhoids? No, it's true. Well, it's, it's what it, Preparation H, I believe, uh, lowers uh, swelling. Yeah. Let me ask you, there's rumors that in the gym a lot of people are taking steroids. What are your feelings on taking steroids? I think I think it's I think it's totally I think it's totally wrong as if it's not used properly. If you don't know what the hell you're doing, I wouldn't suggest using it. If you're not educated. Right. If you're a stupid idiot and you're just plugging away like Lyle Zeta who killed himself over abusing it, didn't know what he was doing. Well the reason I asked is that some people here think you're on steroids. Are you on steroids? I'm on pro hormones. They're still you can still get them at the supplement store. They're not banned. They still can own them. Yeah they change around the They the, change uh, the molecules now. Right. You can still gain weight off of them and it's not as strong as they were. But that's all I'm using. And I'm using a whole bunch of natural supplements, but the thing is the pro hormones are almost the same, but they're just banning all of them. Right, well, they, the they change the formula on a regular basis. So you're getting ready for the show. How do you feel about uh, competing in the show? Do you think you're going to do well? I think I'll do a lot better. Last time I was bloated, last time when I was uh, when I was in um, contest, I, was, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just a beginner. I was learning. So you feel more confident now? I feel more confident. And now he's a Sith Lord. Yeah, a Sith Lord. <laughs> Sith Lord mode. <laughs> All right, I got to do a Sith. All right. All right, so what are we doing today? You're doing back? Ben over rows. I'm doing a lot of reps again. Today is Wednesday, September 12th, but I'm probably not going to be able to upload this video until this Friday, the 14th. Yeah, and listen, and listen, I'm doing right now, I'm doing high repetitions to get the extra cuts out, build the fast switch muscles, 12 to 15 reps, no lower than 10 reps. And I don't care how fucking heavy it is, fuck the weight. Now it's close to the contest, rep. Get those fast twitch muscle fibers ripped. Rep after frickin' rep. Jason, you must shave the back of your neck before the show. <laughs> it's no big deal. When the show comes, I'll have it all off. Alright. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna get my head shaved. I'm gonna actually I'm not getting my head shaved this time. I'm gonna gel it. You're gonna gel it? Like big like Dennis the Big Bad Wolf. Nice and gelled and moose. Or Mark Liddell. Ben over. Twelve rep ten repetitions minimum. If Jason's face is any indication, I'd say this is probably the leanest I've ever seen him. But he's wearing like 19 shirts, so it's hard for me to tell in terms of his body. But in your face, you're, you've definitely... Lost a lot. Your face is no longer round and puffy. These casts are even leaner. Look at them. Stupid. They look stupid. What about the stomach? The midsection. Can't show it till contest. Why not? Because I don't want to reveal my whole physique yet. I want to keep it, keep it a surprise. That's like a Unabomber. You ever heard of the Unabomber? You're comparing yourself to a murderer. <laughs> a Unabomber is just a nickname of hiding your physique until you go to war. That's what a Unabomber is. I've never heard you ever that seen, You ever seen poker? The little Unabomber with the hoodie? Yeah. The same shit. Hiding. Hiding the weapon. A mass destruction. <laughs> Whew. Sweating like a monster. 
Even if I don't place this show, at least I, if I look 20 times better than the last show, that's an improvement in itself. And another thing, how many people have the balls to step on stage in front of thousands of people and pose in front of an audience without getting scared fright? I'm telling you, it's pretty scary. If you have the balls to do it, try it. Because it just takes a lot of guts just to stand on stage. It's not easy, and that's credit. If I could do that and look better than last time, that's dedication right there in itself. That's true. What I said is true. The fact. As long as I look better than last time, I've been over those. People want to see me compete. They're desperate. They got their. They got their wish. I came out. Next time I'll be in better shape. When I do the November show, I'll cut. I'll cut another 10, 15, 20 pounds for November. I'll look ultra ripped. Just keep dieting. Come on, it's about reps today. Reps, reps, reps again. That's good. As long as it's good form. Wow, I got what I want. What's up? Gideon, I don't like your fucking attitude. You're negative about everything. After this show, I'm going to do better because I'm going to die down and drop another 20 pounds. I'm not done dropping weight. This is just the beginning. You listening, Gideon? Gideon's an ass. I don't like his attitude. He's always a negative idiot. He's got nothing positive to say. His mouth is full of potty negative shit. Sick of it. I'm more positive than him. So is my coach, Chris Simmons. Simon. Why the fuck is my cell phone ringing at 6 in the morning? Who knows? Probably Gideon calling him. Wouldn't that be sickening if Gideon knew you were talking about him yeah. and he decided to call me? Five. Come on. Again. Okay, so I shit everybody not. Missed calls. I don't know if you guys can read it on my cell phone. Probably Gideon not. Called. It says Gideon. As Jason was talking shit about Gideon. Gid Let's call Gideon on speakerphone. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. Look, see? There's Gideon. <laughs> Let's see what Gideon has to say. If he answers, sometimes he doesn't. Get in. It's ringing. He's not answering. He's probably not answering. Now he's not answering. He's an idiot. Gideon, I have you. I have you on speakerphone right now as we're filming a video. Oh, fucking sickening. And Jason was just talking shit about you, and my phone oh, rang, and it was God. you. What unbelievable serendipitous timing! So you're on speakerphone. Oh, Absolutely. Do you, I'm driving right now and I feel like I'm going to throw up. Do you, do you have anything you want to say to the Sith Lord on video? You know, you know what? Uh, we're going to do a little bit like um, pumping iron, that one scene where he's talking to, I can't remember who it is, um, on the phone. But yeah, just just <laughs> wish Luke Louie the, the, the best of luck. Um, he's going to need it, you know. Yep. Um, just tell him, you know, he's, you know, relax. Have a good time out there, you know. And, uh... Yeah, I think he's gonna do phenomenal. I mean, he's in the best, best shape of his life. Best shape. Uh, I lost a lot. I lost a lot. I lost a lot of weight in my jaws. You can see my jaws sucked in real good. Exactly. You sucked in. Your water depleted. Uh, I want. I want to know. Um, pre It's pre right? pre or pre pre, pre contest right now. Pre contest. Pre no, no. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? How do you how do you say your new name? How do you pronounce it? Oh, uh, proud, proud. Proud. Is the is the is the silent? I, 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 I'm trying to figure this out if the I is silent uh, or not. Is it, Andrew, I want to know. Are they gonna announce him as Sith Federa? Oh, yeah, they're gonna out. announce me as Sith Federa both. They're gonna do doubles. That is just so sick. Is this, yeah, that'll be unbelievable. Wearing the black uh, cape, that's just gonna be unreal. Oh my, Andrew, are you gonna be there? To die? You know, I'm no stuck one. working on Sunday. It's like the first time in six months I've actually had to work on a Sunday, and wouldn't you know, it's on the day of Genova's show. Oh so, my God. Sucks. I have somebody coming to film it in the night show, so it should the night's the better than the pre-judging. Pre-judging is boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pre-judging sucks, man. 
not. You know, as long as you have somebody there to film the real thing. You this know? is such a sickening like video teleconference here. This is wait, hold on. I, I got to reset the video. One second. Wait, wait. One show that I went to. Now, hold on, Gideon. Richard's over here giving some advice to Jason. One second. Uh, okay. No, actually, I was going to say, Jason, if you were going to give advice to somebody who's getting into bodybuilding for the first time. What kind of advice would you give them? Uh, to what take kind your of workouts would they do? To, you would do. You would start off with real li light weight and heavy weight to get build a size, Idiot, and up? then do lots of reps to get cut. And then <laughs> I suggest that you. Second. I suggest that you. Um, I suggest that you take it slow and build your structure until you compete, and take it slow until you're ready to compete. And then when you build enough size to strip down, then you compete. All right. Just to let all the fans know. I have tried every trick in the book to get Jason to reveal his pre-contest body. I've offered it to buy him an escort, a prostitute. I've offered him drugs, money, a new house, a new car. He will not take his shirt off. So to everybody who keeps asking and posting, we want to see what your body looks like. He is uh, he's sticking, he's sticking to his guns. He's not going to reveal his pre-contest body. So, everybody, I have tried. I'll give you a little Colleen like that, so I'll come from the back. You want me to, well, I don't know if I want to get behind you while you're bent over like that. Papa don't flow like that, JG. Yeah, that's a beautiful sight. The, the female fans in Ireland are going to be drooling on their keyboards. Striated glutes, sickening. Whoa. Now I'm backing up. He's spanking himself. Get a stretch. That's it. That was good form too. The best I've ever done. Too. I'm gonna burn the fuck. I'm gonna make this look professional. Go ahead. Don't stop. Reps. One more. This is for good luck. That's a piece of better than it was two years ago, though. It used to be horrible. I've improved on shoulders, back. So that's why I'm going to do the show. You've improved on neck hair. It's sickening. <laughs> I've improved on my upper body about 15 pounds gain about. Where to next, Chief Lord, Spaniard, Striated Glutes? Better. How do you? What do you attribute that to? Heavy lifting in the off season. Could some athletes there's a thing out that they're drinking their own urine. This is what I've seen or heard on television. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I don't know. I, you know, I do my own method. Heavy weight, a lot of protein, a lot of calories in the off season to get real big. Then cut down, see what I got to prove. So drinking your own urine wouldn't necessarily do it. It's like giving you stamina. Well, I don't know about that. I, I've heard about that, but I don't know if it's true. If you try it out, I don't know. I don't know. Until you try Shit, it, I, I might, wouldn't want to taste my own urine. I might fucking try it. <laughs> <laughs> what about drinking someone else's urine? I don't Does that still work? Because there are a couple of girls in here I might be willing to try that shit with. <laughs> well, I took it one step further. <laughs> yeah. I started eating my own feces. Oh, that's great. So I really feel fucking... High bad. protein, low carbs. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, JG. I love Richard. That guy brings the fucking laugh. <laughs> I've known Richard for 10 years. I don't think I've ever seen him laugh that hard. <laughs> Actually, I've known you for 14 years. Is that your guy in the strongman contest? Yeah. And you, uh, some of them do work out and lift weights and they're cut up. They're not the strongest guys. No, they're the weakest. The strongest guys are the guys that are naturally big, 
They do a little bit of weight training and they're just massive, strong Bulky, guys. bulky. Right. Yeah. You can't get that way no. by lifting weights necessarily. You can look good and get cut. Yeah. Uh, I feel a lot weaker from all my dieting. Well, you need to take more steroids, more of those hormones. Yeah. Get jacked up a little bit. Stop being such a pussy. And drink your own urine, for Christ's sake. Come on. Just push him here. You alright? Eight reps. Eight to ten. Or four. Jason actually has his own theory about jerking off and testosterone levels. What, what is that? What, what is the deal with that? When you get close, this is what they say. I don't know if it's true, but some people say I think it's a myth. Some people say a couple days before contest, because your test levels, you need to keep your test levels in your IGF-1, you shouldn't jack off a couple days before contest. Uh, some people say that, that. I never heard that. Because it releases testosterone. Yeah, I haven't heard that. Some uh, people say that. It releases well, the idea of one. people say it. I don't know if they're on, what kind of drugs they're on. <laughs> I haven't heard that. It's, you know. it's a myth. It's like Arnold says, some of his things are myths too. You might as well go out and get laid. Like three yeah. or four women, you know, instead of jerking off. Well, Jason does that on the regular anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Penthouse, penthouse suites in Miami. <laughs> playing, like a playing, playing a game of hide the lightsaber. Yeah. yeah, we know all about that. Now, I've heard about tying a string around your balls. That might help hold in the testosterone. That's, that's true. I've heard about that, too. I'm a, let me get my cell phone. Oh, me. now you tell me? I forgot. This guy. This guy. He tells me he's ready to give shout outs. I start filming. And as soon as I hit the record button, he goes, let me get my cell phone. All right, Jason, the floor is yours. Hello? Anyone? Just, just, wait, just wait. All right, I'm giving a shout out to Andy Evans for uh, getting his friend to say my password, uh, Andy Evans. Uh, That's the YouTube account, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you again, Andy Evans, for uh, saving my account and uh, Antonio. Antonio. Bondores. Antonio Banderas. Yes, the both actor. Of you, both of you get big shout outs. Andy Evans, Antonio Bondores. All right. Now I'm going to give a shout, shout out to Nikki, Nikita, and Andrea. Andrea, wish me luck on my contest. And shout outs to all my fans. Peace out, bye. That's it. Don't forget about that tip I gave you about tying a string around your balls really yeah. tight. Yeah. You can go lend that testosterone. I will. That I might agree. fucking work for you. I won't forget. You know? Yes. Then you may bust the load on it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tie it too tight or it might come out of your nose or your ears or something when you bust. Uh, you know, that shit's got to escape someplace. All right, now we're going to show me go into the sauna what I do on the regimen. Into the sauna? Oh, God help me. I'll meet you there in a minute. There he goes. This is me getting on the sauna, getting rid of the body water, the fluids, dripping it out, getting tight skin. All right, here I go. Let's see Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs do this. <sighs> Let's see Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs follow Jason into the sauna. I'm getting real fucking tight here. How long are you sitting here for? It's pretty fucking 20 hot. 20 minutes. This is, this is like a torture chamber from Abu Ghraib. <laughs> It's like a, a, a prison. It's like a death camp. Yeah, I'm gonna get tight from this. As you can see, my veins are coming out right now from all that water dehydration. See that? It's gonna get tight. I think my camera's gonna melt. All right, peace out. Bye. All right. Oh, and, I'm, and one more. And 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 Andy, I'm gonna uh, warn people not to hack on my account. If they do, Sith Lord will kick their ass, and Antonio will take back control. All right, peace out. And this is the last video before your contest on Sunday. Everybody wishes you luck. Win or lose, as long as you improve, that's all people want to see you do. 
Um, As you can see, my jaw went down a lot since last show, so you, that's improvement. You're, you're definitely the leanest I've ever seen you. I've known you for about eight years. I hope that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. And I guess we'll film again one day next week and we'll discuss what happened at the show. You got to try to get it filmed too, okay? Yeah. You got someone going, correct? Yeah. Good enough. Even if I have to take pictures of the contest, at least it goes on the wall. All right, my camera's about to explode. <laughs> Later, everybody. Bye.